everybody, this is Miss Melinda at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Library. Welcome to the Dogman Party O Rama! We're going to start by taking a personality quiz, and the answers to the quiz will tell you what Dogman character you would be. You're going to need a pencil and a piece of paper. You can pause while you go get one. Okay, the first question is. What is your favorite food? Is it A, gum, B, pizza, C, apples, or D, rotten meat? So write down the letter for your answer. That was A, gum, B, pizza, C, apples, or D, rotten meat. All right, question number two. What is your favorite animal? Is it A, dolphins, B, dogs, C, kittens, or D, evil crows? That was A, dolphins, B, dogs, C, kittens, or D, evil crows. All right. Next question. Why do you like the Dogman books? A, because they're really funny. B, because they're exciting. C, I love the characters. Or D, I hate the Dogman books and I hate Dogman. That was A, funny, B, exciting, C, love the characters, or D, I hate Dogman and I hate the Dogman books. All right, next question. What are you like in school? Are you a, the class clown, B, the hero who stands up for everybody, C, the good friend who everyone likes, or D, diabolical, you're a bad guy and you should go to jail. That was A, class clown, B, hero who stands up for everybody, C, the good friend who everybody likes, or D, you're diabolical and you should go to jail. All right, here's the next one. What is your favorite color? Is it A, green, B, blue, C, every color, or D, darkness? That was A, green, B, blue, C, every color, or D, darkness? All right, next question. What is your favorite hobby? Is it A, drawing, B, sports, C, smiling, or D, being mean? That was A, drawing, B, sports, C, smiling, or D, just being mean. All right. What word best describes you? Is it A, creative, B, brave, C, innocent, or D, atrocious? All right, that was A, creative, B, brave, C, innocent, and D, atrocious. All right, now I need you to add up all the A's that you have, all the B's that you have, all the C's that you have, and all the D's that you have. All right, so press pause and then come back when you've added up your scores. All right, you ready to hear what your personality is? All right, if, you're, if you have mostly A's, you're a Harold. Harold is one of the creators of Dogman. You're a creative person with a lot of passion. You love to draw and you have unique interests and opinions. Keep being you. All right, if you have mostly bees, you're Dog Man, the hero of the story. You're a brave person who sticks up for those in need. You try your best to be mature, although you have a silly side too, and you never stop standing up for what's right. All right, if you have mostly C's, you're Lil Petey, the baby clone of Petey. Everyone likes you and you get along with everyone. 
You're innocent and fun-loving, possibly a younger sibling, and you do your best to make sure everyone is happy. Keep being a good friend. All right, and if you have mostly Ds, you're Petey, the villain. This is Petey before the Lord of the Fleas, back when he was just a bad guy. Did anyone really get this result? You have a very silly sense of humor and you like the unexpected. Don't be a villain, you silly head. Do keep being funny and surprising. All right. Even if you didn't get Petey on the quiz, I have a Petey type of activity for you. You're going to make a Petey style invention out of anything that you have at home, things that are recyclables or old toys or really just anything that you have permission to use to make an invention. Here's the invention that I made. This is a very fancy litter box for Petey. Usually he makes things that are a little bit more destructive, but I thought this would just be something nice for him. Over here, we have some feathers and ribbon for him to play with if he gets a little bored. Petey also invented some super, super soft kitty litter so his feet don't get irritated by those little pebbles. Over here is a fan so he keeps his litter box smelling fresh. And over here we have some buttons. There's one that he can press for music. There's one that he can press if he wants his robot to bring him a snack. There's one that he can press if he wants little Petey to come in and tell him a knock-knock joke. And there's one if he wants to eject and have an Avenger. And on this side, I put a little mirror so when Petey gets out of his litter box, he can make sure that he looks good before he goes out into the world. So I'd love to see what you create just any kind of invention you think that Petey might want to make and see what you come up with. Well, thank you for coming to our little dog man party. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Wait, don't go yet. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. I'm sure by now you've read all of the dog man books, unless you're still waiting in line to get Mothering Heights. So I wanted to give you a couple book recommendations. The first one is Lunch Lady by Jared J. Krasowska. This one is about a lunch lady who dishes out a lot more than food. She dishes out justice, so you got to see what she gets up to in the Lunch Lady series. And the next one is the Stick Dog series by Tom Watson. In these books, Stick Dog and his buddies will do anything for a snack. Anything. Totally crazy things. You have to check out this series. All right. Happy reading. Mm -hmm.